Go, 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 go. Pull into the grocery store. They, this is fine. If, they, if she makes you leave, just go across the street. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. You're fine here. Let me out. Let me out. Try to keep a camera, a dash camera on me. Unlock it. Unlock it. information i'm a journalist i film these guys you're mrs what the hell are you doing on my property you i can go to the road if you'd like Double i'm making sure they don't hurt your son yeah. would you like me to film for his safety or not yes but i don't want this in papers and everything i'm not gonna put it on the paper i'm watching the the deputies not not okay. your family member okay okay i'm familiar with your son's case and what the brazoria county deputies and these guys have done to him Mm hmm My priority was to film for the man's safety. I knew the police already had substantial documentation in place, such as so-called officer safety alerts, to pre-justify extreme use of force. But suffering from an acute medical episode should not subject someone to injury or death. In their own reports, the deputies claim that they were providing, quote, lethal coverage, unquote. I was worried I would be back soon covering an officer-involved shooting. I did not want that, so when Rollins unreasonably excluded me, I questioned him to keep the man alive. Oh, wow. 22 Sam 7, clear. Across the street, please. Yes, across the street. So you can shoot him? 
What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? Please go across the street. In his lie reports, Rollins claimed that he did this for my safety. After arresting me, Rollins seized my video equipment and turned off my camera. He locked me in the back of Ricky Rodriguez's patrol vehicle, which was the closest to the scene. I was trapped in the car, unable to protect myself, for over an hour before the deputies transported me to the county jail. Justin is an independent journalist who covers local government issues, including the police. He brings his own unique viewpoint to his reporting, and he often covers events like traffic stops that other local media outlets might not cover. And Justin is often critical of the government officials he covers, including those in the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. The government doesn't get to decide who reports the news, and it doesn't get to retaliate against journalists it doesn't like. Yet the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office has repeatedly harassed intimidated, and retaliated against Justin because of his reporting. And in December 2021, about a year ago, sheriff's deputies arrested Justin while he was on scene filming a mental health call that Justin believed posed a significant risk to the ill person's well-being. Officers arrested Justin because he did not comply with an unreasonable order to leave the scene where he couldn't film, even while other bystanders were permitted to stay. This was Justin's first and only arrest, yet Justin was jailed for several hours and forced to endure a humiliating strip search. And the violations didn't end there. While Justin was in jail, the sheriff himself arranged a meeting with Justin and became angry when Justin refused to waive his constitutional right to have an attorney present. Because of his arrest, Justin is now being prosecuted for interference with police duties. Filming the police from a reasonable distance, like Justin was doing, doesn't interfere with police work. Under the First Amendment, officers don't have the power to arrest someone in retaliation for criticizing them, and the government doesn't have the power to restrict journalism based on its content. If you are outraged by what happened, please sign my petition and take action in the political process.